all the time, it must have been always good, it wasn't, you know? And I think that what I was saying, as far as you guys matter, you guys have to uh, understand that you matter, and making a wrong choice can put you in the wrong place. But what it did for me was allow me to understand that that's not where I belong. And my parents, my parents, they were always by my side, and um, they supported me, but I think it was more of an eye-opener to know that I mattered and that I had to do something because um, I never wanted to, never ever wanted to be back in that place ever again. Um, so, you know, went to school, went to college. I fought to play football my whole entire life because I guess growing up in Rockland, Mass, I was like a way out because it's a tough city. And, um, like, I was smart, but I wasn't like no scholar or like an all day with the <laughs> you know, I knew I had to do to play football, but um, you know, they wasn't looking at me, looking at me to run the office and that school and anything. But um, I think that I think that you know what I learned is that I wanted to do something and that I was going to do something. I believe I didn't know what it was going to be, but I know I was going to do something. And um, I was going to school, was playing football, and when I was playing football, I was boxing and vice versa. So at school, um, I, I don't know, I, for all you football players, y'all got, got your football team right here. Woo! What's up? What's up? Um, so, like, I play football, but for y'all football players who are in here, um, and any other majors who, you know, kind of doing that sports thing, um, it, it is a job. That in itself is a job. I know like a lot of student athletes who are going to school, going to practice. I see you. What, what sport do you play? Basketball! Oh, okay! Yes, I'm oh, yeah. <laughs> Bobby, oh. oh my god, now she's pointing out. She's pointing out. Singing is a sport, So I think that's when I like I kind of found my love, but like, you know, I wasn't so 
I wasn't so ego driven to where I'm too cool as Kufago to check out this dude's book. Where it's kind of like, and especially in life, man, you gotta have an open mind, you guys. And I think, like, even with some of you guys in here, someone in here may be doing something different. And when somebody, when someone's doing something different, instead of like hating or like not really digging them up, yo, check them out because you never know what you might find out. You never, you never know what you do. I think we have to support each other. I think it, I think I think too many of us are, are either worried about what someone else is doing and not focusing on you. Or if someone else is doing something that may be out of the norm or something, like I said, like get behind them or just ask them like what's that about? Because then you might find yourself moving towards like either, you know, that category, or just like educate yourself. It's like the more you know, the better you are for life. And that's just that's just like, you know, on me. Um, so eventually, I started doing my like own modeling thing, my acting thing, and I met this dude at a, at a mall, they had like a fashion show at a mall, and this kid was like, yo, I'm with this AMC in New York, like, you should, you know, I'm with this manager who was with AMC in New York, so she hooked me up um, with the information, and next thing I got to sign with this New York agency, and then after that, it was like, it just like, <laughs> like, took off, and like, when I was going to school, like, I was going to decide for like three years, you know? But I mean, you, you still have to know, man. Like, we can pick our classes and we get like first, sorry for the people who aren't student athletes. We get a lot of stuff first, we get to pick your classes and you get to kind of set up the schedule how you want to go, you know, to help you out with your, you know, your sports thing. And for me, I was like, I'm not really sure what I want to do as far as uh, a college student. You know, I mean, I, I did what I did in the play, you know, I got decent grades, and, but I wasn't really sure if, like, college was my thing. And once I kind of fell into the acting world, you guys, like, that to me became my major. And what I did with that is I started educating myself in that field. Now, you know, going to UMass Dalton, they don't have, like, acting, like, they have theater and stuff, I just did, but it wasn't, like, a major. So it's not like, you can say, I'm going to, I'm going to take acting, I'm going to acting major. Like, that's just, like, craziness. So once I, once I kind of fell into it, what I did was I applied myself and did what I had to do to be the best actor that I could be. You know, and I, and, and I think if you guys are in class and, and with it, whatever major you guys are into, you've got to apply yourself. You've got to work hard because it won't matter. It won't mean anything if you're not putting in the work. And, and I know we hear that all the time. Like, this, the easiest thing we can do is just give up the guys. Like, that's the easiest thing we do, you know? And then you be mad, like, what if I, oh, I could have, or I should have. Maybe, maybe, just put in the work, ask for help, support each other. And you're gonna find yourself moving, moving, you know, forward in life. Because, like, what I, what I was, what I, 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 I should have stayed with food. My friend Della said, um, without struggle, there's no progress. Without struggle, there's no progress. Yeah, see? Yeah. Without struggle. Tell them what I'm talking about. He looked at me, Danny, my face. So that's what I'm doing. Let me start it like my fan. Eventually, I found myself moving forward in the sense where I'm starting to book stuff. I'm like, but. The moral of the story is, like, I believe in me. I always gave him pooch. I never tried to be anyone else. And then, like, when I moved to LA, like, I kind of, like, did that one time because, like, I was killing New York. And then when I got to LA, the best of my agent was like, yeah, you got to LA. And then I went to LA and it was, like, kind of tough. And I was like, damn, what's going on? And I started to try to adapt. I tried to, to adapt to what I thought the industry wanted. And, um, that's not the move. That's not the move. And I found myself taking a step backwards. So like with me, I said, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get back, I'm gonna get to what got me here. And that's making the right choice. And my the choice was to, to stay true to who you are. And that's what I that's what I did. So next thing you know, I'm starting to book little jobs, big jobs, like medium jobs, and then finally like I came.
across the game. And um, y'all watch again? Yes. yes. I saw the first season. Faithfully. You don't end up in. I saw the first thing. Why would I be here? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I appreciate it, guys, very much. Like, without the game, like, without you guys watching, I wouldn't be here. Mm. But when I went in for the game, like, I went, first I went in for Derwin, then I went in for Malik, and then they brought me back to Derwin. Yeah, Derwin. And let me tell you, that audition process was the worst. It, it was so bad that I didn't want Derwin. I didn't want Derwin. And, um, and if you guys follow the story, I'm not the one who got the original journal, it's Aldous Hodge. Excuse me, who's a friend of mine, he's on, um, he's on a different show now. Um, but they brought, then they said, so I get a call, they said, your coach day, they want to see you again for the game. I'm like, damn, I'm going for that? They're like, no, 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 they're like, you're going to get it. So, usually when people tell you, how are you going to get it, or something, like, we're going with you, they're not. So, I was like, all right, you know, because I love my job, I love what I do. And I said, yeah, I'm going to this, and I mean, the room was cool. And they worked with me for like two days, just me. And then they had the audition session, and I went in there. I was still, I wasn't really confident. I was supposed to shoot exactly what they wanted. And um, I went on audition. I was in a suit. <laughs> and uh, so Mara, Mara Baca Kill was the uh, creator of the show. She said, hold on, hold on. She said, don't take off the suit. Take off the top suit. Take off the jacket. 